Hey, how you doing? Anthony Ferraro here with Create Sci-Fi. Today I'm very excited to share with you how to make a composition from green screen footage without using After Effects. I find that with a lot of DIY low budget filmmakers, the barrier to making sci-fi tends to be the special effects. I'm gonna show you a way to do that right in the editing program. I'm using Premiere, I recommend Premiere, because if you do someday make the leap to After Effects, which I think you should, we already know a lot of the language and understand more what's going on in there. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, so let's get started making some sweet, sweet sci-fi. All right, so you got your green screen footage all cut. We're gonna bring it in to the editing program. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a mask and we're gonna mask out all the area where there's no movement so the computer has less work to do. Then we're gonna get the Lumetri color and I like to just desaturate it and wash it out a little because it makes it a little easier on the key. So then we're gonna get the Ultra Key. Now that's a pretty strong tool, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna key out the green. You go into alpha, you want a strong black and a strong white, that's really important. I put the pink back there just to make sure I don't miss anything. So once that's keyed, export an alpha movie, and we're gonna bring that back in. So that way you just don't have to render all that work every time and it's easier on the system. So now we need our background. Now you just don't put any image back there. Don't use images you don't own. Here's a site where you can get royalty free images. So you pick one, I like these old warehouse ones, and I'm gonna bring this in, and I have two shots. I have the wide and I have the close up. So I'm just gonna resize this background so that it makes sense. So I'm gonna move it around so he fits there, and then the close up, I'm gonna move it forward. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna create a fake depth of field. So I duplicated the picture, and I put a mask around that, and I just feathered it a little. And so that top version, I'm gonna blur with a Gaussian blur at about like 22. And the bottom one at about two or four. And then that way it gives it that fake depth of field look. So now we're gonna start to unify this with some color grading. I'm gonna go into my effects, get the Lumetri color, and we're gonna bring this in. And you could try different ones. Um, I like this blue, this day for night, just cause I think it's a cool moody look. So now we're gonna apply the color to the different layers. We're gonna apply it to the action and then we're gonna apply it to the background. And as you can see, it all starts to become unified. So what we're working towards is layering in all these elements to unify the image. Color is the foundation of this. It's, it's our most important element. And with these built-in plugins for the color grading, it makes it very achievable and it looks professional. So, Moving on. Next, we're gonna add the muzzle flashes. Again, just trying to keep this cheap and easy, so here's a place where you can get some free muzzle flashes if you don't have them. And also, while we're doing this, we're gonna need some smoke, so we might as well get that now, too. So now bring in your muzzle flashes and your smoke, and we're gonna start to lay these in. I like to put them right before the recoil of the gun, so I'm gonna position those there, and then, you know, we're just gonna resize it, screen it, put it over the gun and rinse and repeat. So we're gonna do that several times. Now in this last shot, he's just raising up the guns and not firing anymore. So I have this smoke that was part of the download. So we're just gonna put this residual smoke. We're just gonna place this here and it's just gonna give a nice little lingering effect and just helps to sell the whole thing. So now we're gonna create a shadow. So what we do is we duplicate the layer and we're gonna bring in some levels and we're just gonna make it all black. Then we're gonna bring in a, a simple 3D tool, which is part of Premiere, and you're gonna put that in there and you're just gonna drop it behind him so it looks like a shadow. Then we're gonna add some blur and we're gonna set the opacity low and just angle it like this and that looks great. Okay, now we're gonna bring in the smoke. This is now we're starting to blend things together. So this smoke layer, we'll bring this in. I'm not sure if the, the resolution is that great, so I'm just gonna add a little blur to be safe. And again, we're just gonna screen this, set the opacity, and move it around to where it looks good to you. I would just, for each shot, adjust it, and when it's the close-up, make it a little bigger and move it around. 
Okay, so let's add some detail now. So now there was this wisp of smoke, and I wanna add this to the barrel of the gun. So I'm gonna mask this off, resize it, and we're just gonna put it at the end of the barrel here. We're gonna have to keyframe this so it follows the movement of the gun. Just use a couple of keyframes. And once you get that, just copy it to the other side, adjust your keyframes. And we're just gonna mess with the opacity a little, and at the end, we're just gonna add a little Gaussian blur so when he blows, it goes away. That looks great. So now that we're doing details, let's add a flare just to give it a little more life. Flares are like magic. So we're gonna do a new solid black layer and we're gonna go into the effects, grab the flare. I like this one because it's kind of the same color scheme and you're just gonna position it, find some light or some place where it looks good. This one I'm gonna fake this light in the background as a source light and I'm just gonna tweak that and that looks good. And remember, when you cut to the close-up, you wanna move it and make it a little bit larger. And yeah, that looks great. So another great unifier is the grain. In another video that I did, I show you how to do blaster effects right in the editing program without using After Effects. So in that video, I have links to where to get the grain and also camera shake which we'll be needing, so you might as well grab that too. So I'll put a link below where you can go take a look at that and find those links. All right, so let's grain it up. Now we add the grain, set the opacity to screen, and bring it way down. Like I bring it down to like three almost. And yeah, that looks good. So now we're gonna export that. So we export that. All right, before this next step, we're gonna go back online and we're gonna get some looks. These are some shortcuts to color grading. So here's some downloads of some free ones. You can spend the time to learn to color grade, but all these things are so we can just get through it and do it ourselves. I, myself, like to use Magic Bullet. Magic Bullet, it costs a little bit of money, but I find it a very powerful tool. It just helps me to get some really great looks that I wouldn't be able to get on my own. And here's a couple examples. I like this one. And I'm a little bit addicted to chromatic apparition, so I add that, and that just gives it that 70s look and just brings it to life. So now that's all working. That looks pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna wrap up this little package of sci-fi goodness. We're gonna add sound effects. I'm not gonna go into detail here. As I said before, that blaster video, I go into more depth on that, so you should check that out. But sound effects are important because they cue what you see, and it really helps to bind everything together. That's another layer. And the final layer is the camera shake. And I'll mention again why that's important. What it does is we put in all these layers, we unified our image, but it's still separate pieces. The camera shake takes everything that we did and it moves it left and right and up and down, and it suspends our disbelief that this is actually happening. So it's a very, very important step. So let's take a look at this. That looks all right, was it too hard? So if you found this video useful, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you'd like to see in the future, and please sign up for my email newsletter. Remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. Yeah, we should watch it again.